simple man with Ethan Krell and Stan Nicky Rod and Dave Damian Dave Anderson. <laughs> oh. Stay a while if you know about the jujitsu. If you don't, you can come to this B is B T. What is going on, guys? Hello, Damien here. Sup, cunts? Wow, Ethan, and our guest. <laughs> Say my name. Say it. Say my name. Say it. Oh, Pierre Olivier Leclerc. <laughs> Pierre, Pierre Olivier Leclerc. 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 Oh. Oh. Le croissant de fromage. Le croissant. Bro, yeah. what the fuck? You were in Europe. All right, you were, you were going to compete. You are going to teach seminars. And Tell us everything. What happened? Who uh, did this to you? A French guy actually did this to me. Look, Piece of look, shit. look. This, this is a bad start to this podcast. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I had my... LCL, second degree tear, hamstring, Ooh. whatever is attached to it, and then uh, <sighs> meniscus blown by a lockdown by a French guy oh, in yeah. the first round of, uh, yeah, 45 Euros? seconds in, yeah, of Euros, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah that's, uh, and so <clears throat> 45 seconds in, that happens, and then... Um, what, is it, what is Euros? Euros. European uh, World? Or Euro Euros? I don't know. European, like a, what is it? Like a major tournament. Yeah, but what is it? But what's it? What's the European? What, what's the name of the? So like you do no, no, like no. jujitsu and brother. No, no, like, no. What's the whole IBJJF IBJJF tournament called? IBJJF Euro Nogi. Euros. It's called Nogi. Euros. Euros. Yeah. yeah. European, Nogi European Nogi Championship. Nogi. Yeah. European Nogi Championship. That's what yeah. it is. Okay, okay. Not called Euros. It's called Euros. No, yeah, no it's, it's like we call like Worlds Euros. Worlds, but it's actually called like World Championship or whatever. Like for IBJJF. You're making it very or complicated. Pan Am. People call it Pan Am, but actually Pan American. Oh, we gotta restart. We gotta restart. No, no. Wow. So, <laughs> so you're in the lockdown. Poof, knee explodes. You continue so, fighting for a little bit, or yeah. So exactly what happened is like I was. Uh, he had it like he was pretty strong. Good lockdown, but that's the first round, right, of a match. That's like usual. So I'm trying to. I have like a near side under hook. I'm trying to sit my way I'm, down on to, top half guard. I'm on top half guard. Yeah, I'm trying to sit my way down to kind of out pummel him. Right, we're in that position for like what, 30 seconds. <clears throat> At some point, he goes to kind of elevate my leg and stretch it. And my knee just goes like crack, and I hear like you he, he hear it, it was too. Audible. And he, he tells me like in French, he's like, "You okay?" I'm like, uh, "Yeah, let's keep going." What is that? I, what is that? So in French, what did, what did he say? He said, uh, "Est-ce que ça va?" Like, "Are you okay?" Uh, uh, uh. He was actually like uh, quite nice. Oh. Could have just uh, break my knee more, but no. So um, I just went like, uh, "Yeah, keep going," because I felt no pain, but I did feel like a big. You crack. felt it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'm on top, and I'm like starting to think i'm like fuck that might be my acl you know because uh, a friend of mine at tristar was in the same position same thing happened in his acl it, it's a common uh, it's a March, common the irish guy <clears throat> oh wow from yeah. from lockdown like that scorpion position when people go for the sweep and and uh you resist it on top it is a common injury to tear your acl in that position anthony bourdain used had to... tattoos right or something like that Oh yeah, yeah, like he, yeah, yeah. I think Anthony he, Bourdain used to like set up this lockdown uh, scorpion, scorpion, yeah, yeah, lockdown, yeah. and he would just explode because he's so lanky and he's going against guys that are. You, you know, train with him before? I've never rolled with him. I saw him. At he's mainly gee guy. Yeah, he's, he's a gee guy. guy. But uh, yeah, he was like he would compete and train also with guys around his age yep. that were like you know not as long and lanky and the, that age your ligaments are he was jacked. And he was pretty jacked. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he would just explode people's knee oh. in this uh, lockdown. And what the tattoo? I think, like, I think you would get like it might have been a scorpion or some marking for each time that would happen. Like he would tear the guy's ACL in that, and he had like a few, up, a few of those. That's, Is that fucked yeah, up? Right. It's yeah. not even a submission. It's just no, like yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not supposed. I mean, shit. But you know what's crazy? <laughs> definitely, they definitely they tapping from that. Are they, are they, are they like, tapping from that? No, they're I mean, just going. They're, ow! If their ACL <laughs> tears, you know. Well, sometimes I mean, the thing is with me, it, it didn't hurt at all. So I was it like, just uh, gives. I'm gonna keep, it's like a Z lock yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm going to keep going. Explodes. But the thing, like, what's crazy is, like, I've been put in lockdown, like, of course, countless of time, and I never felt like, oh, it's going to sweep. I'm resisting and it's going to break. It was like just out of nowhere, and I was like, what the hell is going on? And then we kind of kept going. Like he swept me, I swept him back. Then he put me again in the lockdown, and I start feeling my knee go like. Like literally detach. Fuck. Oh, that's scary. And it starts like being like very, very warm and painful, obviously. Yeah. And then I had to stop the match. 
And I was like so afraid it was my ACL. Yeah. And like the day after, I had a hard time walking too. When so was this? Uh, that was uh, four weeks ago, five weeks ago. And you're like good now. I'm training, training pretty hard. hard. You're now. training got, hard today. I got very lucky and I have Damn. very, very good uh, physio. Um, shout out Max Hanna in Montreal. Max Hanna. Yeah, yeah. He's a beast. Next, he's been treating athletes for like 25 years. Knows what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I think Amazing. the combination of uh, me being a super athlete and... Uh, <laughs> superior. My, yeah. Yes. Superior genetic and a good physiotherapist. I'm, Damn, I'm back on the four mats. weeks. Well, I guess everything else broke but the ACL. Pretty much. Pretty everything much, on huh? the outside. Yeah, but Good it thing wasn't... I'm a superior athlete. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good thing I'm well, built. my knee's so good now. Yeah. Yeah. Built different. Built different. <laughs> um, no, so actually... Uh, like it, it it was a bad situation but out of the bad it was the best case scenario because nothing completely tore yeah and um it was outside so it's not too bad you yeah. know you had lcl before right before ADC. yeah uh mcl was it mcl that was an mcl you yeah piece of shit oh this guy did z locked yeah. him z locked me i didn't even know i was we cutting didn't even weight. know z lock was a thing yeah yeah That's i was crazy. cutting weight to uh a kasai tournament at 135 and i was so depleted that even damien was able to get a the upper <laughs> hand on me for, for a split second and that's all it took for my mcl to and to prevent you from doing ADCC. fire, and it was right before ADC. It was exactly too. two months before ADC. He was oh, crying. Yeah. I cried. I did. I actually did. I cried. Fuck. Is that? Yeah, I understand. Don't look that. at me like yeah, that. I actually, <laughs> I actually, I know you cried cry before. Me. You must not know me. I know you. I mean, upon I study the blade. When's the last time you cried? Well, dude, even when I was born, they were like, "You're gonna cry." I was like, nah, "I'm good." That's a, that's, you know, that's a sign of autism. Yeah. No crying. I think so. You know, you just come out of the womb. <laughs> that might be why he's this is doing new. well at jiu-jitsu just since autism. Yeah. autism never cried there is that what would it take to make Nicky Rod cry <laughs> if Leo didn't love me anymore wow oh, well, oh when Leo dies you're crying don't talk about that <laughs> <He starts. laughs> please don't talk about that <laughs> 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 it's not funny oh, I man. cried when my dog died my childhood oh dude of course of course dogs are dogs two are gays i didn't actually <laughs> cry you, i got you <laughs> no i cried i, I, I did oh man uh <laughs> i cried because i killed him <laughs> oh my god <laughs> all right how long are you here for uh three weeks three weeks why are you so, here uh who are you b team boy i mean it's good like fuck yeah but yeah so why uh, three, i was trying to run away from my house Yes. No, um, yes. <laughs> no, I was just like I had to postpone two um, two trips I tried to do uh, because of injuries. So I had like the rib before trials. I was supposed to come. It was so bad. I uh, remember that. You didn't do yeah. trials. Oh, you I did. did. I did. Yeah, yeah. With yeah. your rib though, your rib was yeah. Up. It was four weeks after, but uh, it was not too bad. Like I managed to just I was on the airdyne like almost every day, yeah. just trying to get like fit for it. Um, yeah, just. I was trying to come a few times and it just like wouldn't work out for whatever reason. I spent like the half of the of the year like just injured. injured. Yeah, yeah, just bad luck. You, you, we were talking about it a little bit before, like during training, and I, I think it's something that that the viewers, especially the guys that you know train consistently, it's like when we talk about injuries, it's really a matter of like when you get injured. Mm -hmm. not if you get injured because it's gonna happen yep. it, like whether it takes a year or five years or 10 like you're eventually gonna get an actual injury so. even nikki rod a fucking negative person i mean it's a matter of I, look everyone it's a hundred percent injury rate is it there's not a single you don't person think there's one athlete out there that's who's never been injured no without like a, a real injury who bourdain bourdain well he got the worst injury of all <laughs> who did it who done it? Oh, the Illuminati. You believe it? I, I think we talked about this a little bit. I do believe that there are like an echelon of people that are just... An echelon. Like um, they're friends with, with other powerful people and it's like they can help each other out. It's like I don't know if they necessarily call themselves the Illuminati and like we're going to fucking take over the world. But I definitely think if you're rich and powerful, your friends are going to be rich and powerful. They can like... You fucking scratch their back, they scratch your back. No, you don't think that's funny true. thing about my back is Did it's we go located. From, like, you get injured in jiu-jitsu to... Illuminati. Well, because he said... Yeah, he let's, said, uh, let's bring it... Hold on, hold on. Well, he said... How do we avoid injury in this sport? I'm actually... No, uh, there's oh, wait, God on, I think there's ways. Let's go back. Let's All go right. back real quick. Yeah. My, I think my style is the best style for avoiding injury. Just not just the bicep. Stay on top. 
stay on top. Uh, yeah, when you're doing all the all the stuff where you have to rotate your leg Invert. inward and there's weight coming down, or like stuff like this. That's when your knee goes yeah. kablash. I've doing... never injured myself doing that. You were in a leg situation. I was on top. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you know, <laughs> you know, um, what I wanted to say was, um, when you guys get injured, yeah. What do you do to make sure that you're not losing progression? That's something that I feel Convince like a lot of yourself that you're not injured. And just train through it? Yep. So torn bicep, just train through it. Yeah. That was different. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, uh, I hurt my... I feel like a lot, a lot of times you hurt yourself. Like, like when I tore my bicep, I, I hurt myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you like hurt you, yourself. You did this yeah. to yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like when I, I defeated myself, yeah. Like when I tore my bicep, it was because I had... An improper warm up, and I go straight to shooting and fucking blow my arm out. What's up, y'all? It's Damian Anderson and Nikki Rod from the Simple Man Podcast. We're here to let you know that our merch is live. You know, you guys want some t shirts, some fancy cups? Support the Simple Man Podcast and get our merch. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nikki Rod. If you're looking to support the Simple Man Podcast and myself, please check out carnejerky.com. C A R N E. J E R K Y. Just want to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors, Massive Supplements and Violent Hippie. Use code SIMPLEMAN, all caps, for 15% off both of those companies. Massive Supplements, trademarked Smashing Greens, Smashing Reds, very nutrient dense foods. I personally use their creatine and BCAs during my workout and sometimes even before the workout. For Violent Hippie, they have soaps, USDA, CBD oils, t shirts, rash guards, you name it. Owned by former Navy SEAL Mitch Aguiar, you simple man, to get 15% off. Guys, Violent Hippie, massive supplements, get the smashing greens, smashing reds, all the vitamins, nutrients you need to get that body that you want. Natty Rod style. Yeah, I feel like, um, like whenever you get injured, like you, you were asking how you stay like in the game. Basically. Yeah, what do you guys do? Yep. Um, yep. I think like for physically, I think it's good to have like uh, like people that know their stuff, like a good physio or like good strength trainer, and then you want to build like a program for your injury and for yourself. And then I think going to the gym, watching rounds. Like Jay was always at the gym, right? You when have he to injured, be going to yeah. The gym still. So watching rounds is important, and then watching tape if you can't. Like go to the gym, yeah, let's yeah. say. I think a combination of that just keeps your mind going, you know. Yeah. I, I think, think if I think some people, um, and I was victim to this, come back too early, you're a victim. and then you have to, um, and then you have to like change your style of rolling because you're you're a bit injured. So you mm -hmm. you then so then you start creating bad habits. And so you have there's to unlearn them when you come back. Yeah. So yeah. which yeah. unlearning could could potentially put, yeah uh, takes, creating takes bad habits could put you back. Yeah. But don't you feel like, let's say you modify your style and you uh, maybe you can learn something you you weren't doing before. Is that a bad habit or maybe you're adding new techniques that well, like, can go around your injuries? Like, I think there's a balance. Like, either the, what you value uh, continuing to roll but roll differently over being rolling absolutely perfect. Yeah. I mean, I feel like what I want is just be rolling so sometimes i come back a bit earlier but like i think that's more so you just want to train so bad so <laughs> yeah. so you come back earlier when i th i honestly think the best is just to wait till you can do everything perfect i don't even think though that's the case i think eventually i mean i don't know i can only speak for myself but like i feel everyone has limitations to their body so they're gonna have to to uh, um create a game that's only that only caters to their body whether that's injuries whether that's flexibility whether that's height mm -hmm. or length it's like the perfect jujitsu style is different for each body type and each limitation to the body so it's like yeah. you can say flexibility is one thing but also the person can be not flexible because they have a bad back and now they can't I, I also think uh limiting your range of motion helps you stay healthier longer yeah in the sense that like I if agree. you're taking a shot and you're shooting and you're fully extended and getting sprawled on versus you're like heat you're like not, and arms are at 90 degrees and get sprawled on very, very different yeah. i think not getting extended help, helps you mm -hmm. for sure mm -hmm. i mean we definitely really only get injured yeah at like the end range of our limbs i feel like when a limb is taken like all limits, the way out of your sure. body and also falling body weight right that's falling body classic. weight for sure that's yeah, yeah, yeah there, that's there's the gonna classic. be accidents from time to time that's bound to happen that's yeah. like some people run 
better than other like in in that sense but um like example like my knee i felt like look i had took a flight like two days before for eight hours i had a little issue with my like my glutes and uh got hit by a car (laughs) got hit by a bus right before the (laughs) tournament but you know what i mean like you get there and like your body might not be in his prime, like at his prime. It might have been my fault too. Maybe I could have like warmed done a up or better warm up. Yeah. I feel like I warmed up enough, but you never know. And first match sometimes is a bit tense. Yeah, yeah. And it was in the early forty-five seconds. Like, so. did you get you, you guys? Did you get a good warm up in or not? I did. I did. I was like sweating. I was. Yeah. I always get a good warm up, but maybe, like what they were telling me is maybe like your hamstring was tight, tight from the flights and everything. And then I'm not the most flexible, so. Mm. It that was a like, combination of that exactly you never yeah, know but at factors. the end of the day you kind of believe whatever you want it's For easier sure. to to believe that uh it was my fault that i broke i my defeated mind. myself yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no one else well, can do this to, yeah. me. to be honest i do think yeah. that like in every situation that like that when you incur like a, a problem so we'll say the injury is a problem or in yeah. life there's a problem i think you should always say that it was your fault Cause then like, then there's always something that you could change yeah. and like learn from. But if you always try to say it's some external force, then like you'll never actually change. So like maybe now your warm is going to be a bit different. Maybe your approach yeah. to the first 45 seconds of a match is going to be a bit different. Sometimes, like, sometimes I do agree with that for the most part, but let's say there is something external that like, you know, okay, let's say I, I go out there him. and the guy just kind of, kind of Yeah. Like okay. the, and maybe my, my strategy, routine, warm up was the right thing. I just need to give it more time, give it a chance. Like sometimes change your what's going on in your end, but sometimes there are like external factors and you could just give yourself more time continuing to doing what you're doing could be the right thing to do. Give another shot. You know, well, give another chance. Well, I feel so I feel yeah. like even like even if there wasn't the external force that you're saying, like somebody Shoots a Kani Basami or whatever. Yeah. Or, you, there are still things in your control that you can... Like you, you can, could prepare for yeah. Kani Basamis in the yeah, gym or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, I feel like, like I could have prepared better, get out of the lockdown better. Yeah, practice for sure. Out of lockdown, yeah. Like I've rewatched it. I'm like, yeah, for sure there's things I could have done. But yeah, yeah, at yeah. the same time, it happened. Like, of course, it, it, it happened. It is what it is. But I feel like... Yeah, I, definitely I, for the most part, it, it, it does always, take you further to like take the blame uh, or the... Responsibility. Yeah, the responsibility. Yeah. I think even like that's not even jujitsu. That's like in life. Everything I feel in life. like everything in yeah. life. Like e- when shit hits the fan, still, if you still say that, like, all right, this is my fault. I can change something to make this better. It's Instead never. of being like, "Whoa, is me? I can't fucking yeah. do anything." In this, yeah, and that's in just the mindset you want to have. Like exactly. Yeah. In everything, like it could be absolutely anything. Like relationships, uh, financials, exactly. like anything. Literally yeah. anything. Literally. Anything. Yeah. yeah. Best, best to blame yourself. I, yeah, think so. I, think, I, think, I think so. I think in life, too many people are like uh, they see they're having some struggles, and it's too easy to blame like your boss. Yeah, you become your the boss, victim. You become your a wife. Victim. Yeah. Like yeah, it's like yeah. There's you always blame other people. Like everyone's and it's like, out to get me, and I'm the target. Because, because, because it's easier because it, it hurts to accept that you failed at yeah. something or that something might be your fault. So that's the main thing is people like it's always easier to be a yeah. victim like oh, there's nothing i could do so yeah exactly oh. yeah. i'm just yeah. a victim of my yeah. circumstances so you guys uh just there's something i want to say like you uh if you are injured or let's say you're just like you're really beat up but you decide to go in a watch right to continue yeah. working your brain mirror neurons you watch and you you get uh better by watching whatever um First of all, you guys all do that. Yes, like if yes. you're injured, I, I think come I try. Watch. I try. Yeah, I, I, I try. Yeah. Like when I get injured, I always, there's a few days where I'm. Depends just how like, bad the injury is, also. Like, yeah, of course, yeah, of know. course. But like, there's a few days I'll take just to kind of digest the injury, if you if you know what I mean. Except like, it, I, yeah, I, I don't yeah, want to yeah. be in the gym at that moment. I'm yeah. like a bit pissed off. But then I'll try to go. Yeah. And watch a few. Sessions so long as sure. like like right after I, surgery, I'm not going to be like no. limping and damaging the you know risking that. But yeah, after. I think sometimes you mean you're not going to be walking around a football field with your. You're injury. right. I don't. I don't this, want it bad enough. This guy had. There. This guy had ACL Wait, surgery. Football? You huh? weren't you doing? Your physio told you to walk, and you just destroyed the surgery. No, that no. not happen. What? What happened with your ACL? Like, because you had I to had get to drained. Go. Yeah, because there was, there was like fluid because the quad was tearing. Were you not walking? I was just in bed the whole time. No, I mean, no, no, no. You had surgery, yeah. and then you said your physio told you to walk right away. The, literally, the surgeon said you should walk on it, but that's not what tore my quad. But that's what the, you did. 
He that's was what, you started walking right I after. I started sprinting. You started walk, did you not start walking right after yeah, you showed I walked a little bit. You just said you were in bed. <laughs> nah, I was in bed. I walked, you know, here and there. You were walking. I was walking. He was on painkillers, not feeling the pain, and he's destroying his leg. Nah, I wasn't on pain And he's like, that's not what tore the quad. What tore the quad then? It's back to normal now. Yeah, it's fine. Shut <laughs> All up. All right. Anyways. All right. So you guys, you guys watch. Always watch, yeah. I think sometimes your brain doesn't know the difference between... Uh, like when you're watching a rolling and actually rolling, I right. think so too. Right. I think you're. I think you're right. Like like yeah. thinking yeah. about the roll too. I think when you your brain keep doesn't your know the eye, difference. When you keep your eye on one round, that's like kind of there's some back and forth, and you're actually like interested and invested. You're like I find myself like kind of reacting to it. I swear. <laughs> do you guys like, not do that? Oh yeah, you're like you're like sweating and shit. <laughs> yeah, you start sweating. You get into like yeah. you're like oh sh-, you know. And uh, you guys familiar with that experiment, the free throw experiment? That no, like no. Uh, oh, no, is that? that when they when they imagine themselves yes. throwing? Free- I think I, I've, I think I heard about that uh, actually. Before. I don't know. Can you like, explain to us what it yeah, is? I, I, no, I don't know about it I, actually. Mental reps. Yeah. Mental reps. Mental reps. Something yeah, along yeah. those lines. So I think I think it was Harvard. Some university did a study. There were three groups. Whoa, what are you laughing at? I can't. No, no, nothing, nothing. Shut up. <laughs> go, go, go. On. All right. I think it was whatever some university. There are three groups: a control that didn't do anything, uh, a group that practiced free throws, and a group that imagined practicing free throws. And they were tested at the beginning and the end of the experiment. Right. So, group number one, who didn't do shit, performed pretty much the same. Some worse, some better. Random, no nothing. Uh, group number whatever that practiced the free throws uh, obviously got better. But the group that imagined practicing the three the free throws for like the same period of time got pretty much as better. Like the improvement was like very uh, the difference in like, improvement was like trivial. It was like they improved the same amount as the guys that actually practiced it, which is crazy. I don't know how long it ran, but uh, it's just there's for sure a lot more details in the in the yeah. But it, it goes over, it goes to to show that like your brain yeah, the doesn't know the right? difference. Yeah, it's I don't think same, it really does. Yeah, yeah. it's it's close. you know like I'll. Before like competition or and like I'll think about You'll jerk off five times before I do that. Dude. <laughs> I'll, Lunatic. Uh, I'll think. Um, yeah, I'll think about the roles and it's like well, I I'll feel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll think about. Oh <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck! There goes that. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, serious. no, no. No, but uh, I do the same thing actually. Uh, not the jerk enough, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, dude. I mean, I just you imagine, derailed your you imagine yourself jerking off and your brain, doesn't, like, your brain doesn't know the difference. Yeah, so <laughs> it has the correlation. Uh, so every every time you go to train, you get a fucking massive yeah. boner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. <laughs> muscle, mem- <laughs> muscle memory. Uh, <laughs> then you got to see a psychologist to reverse yeah. it, you know? <laughs> you start jerking off in the psych's office. It's not <laughs> <What>? working. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But yeah, right. visualization basically. You see yourself winning, being in scrambles, hitting your move. Fuck! I had a sick dream last night. What was? I it? was so upset that <laughs> I woke <Jerking> up. <laughs> Sorry. No, man. dude. So I was I was in a fight, like an MMA fight in the cage. Uh, I was fighting for something important. It it didn't seem like the UFC belt, but it was like something along those lines. And then um, I'm fighting this fucking guy, and it's like a it's a it's a even even fight. And then I end up like catching him with an elbow. The guy drops. I hammer fist him, whatever. And he he's out. The ref breaks it up. I'm just raising my hands and I'm walking around, you know, the uh, the ring. The Coliseum. And then I I look up and then it's it's like everyone that I know from New Jersey is is at the place and they they all have like fucking demon hands t-shirts and then i didn't know that they were coming and i like, point cool. at them and then like i see all my family i'm like fuck this is fucking dream awesome. of glory yeah yeah i was like Dude, fuck the fame <laughs> the fame no but fame? oh to yeah be honest fame. i think like when you see like a fight and like someone winning and some someone winning big and you see that like the ending it's so inspiring it's you were recently so at good. ollie's fight yeah How did you feel? Feel? like what was it like over there oh it was well, obviously, like I'm, I'm friend with the guys. Of course, so, like, of course. Yeah. So Olivier Aubin Mercier, he won uh, the PFL. Uh, he's he's had second, second, second time, time in a row. Right? He's had quite a journey. What, what, what he, we call uh, it? Welterweight? Welterweight? Uh, he's a lightweight. He's a one fifty five. One fifty five. I know. Yeah. Holy! It's shit. insane. Yeah, it's right. insane. It's a big motherfucker. Yeah, he's he's so strong. Oh uh, yeah. It's Holy crazy. shit! Ju- judo For, strong. Yeah. Judo strength. Exactly. So Mike, like I mean, Ali, Ali. Yeah, I think judo. So I'm like, oh, Mike. Uh, Ali's story, just like context, like where do you, how yeah, you I'll end try up to, there? Like, and then kind of 
like it's synopsis. so crazy because he has, he has a great story but like he, he was drafted in the uh ufc, UFC very early because he was on the ultimate fighter canada versus australia Did he win? uh no he actually Chad lost Lepreeze. in the final uh but he still had a contract mm -hmm. and uh it was like a, a shitty contract too but like t tough yeah. tough contract are the That's worst shit. yeah so really? he bad. uh he, what was that they're bad yeah, yeah really bad like, off like, like 10 and 10 yeah and it's like a longer contract so like you win like let's say your six first fight and you're ba barely getting paid like That's it was rough, like man. maybe eight eight or something like that. back in the days yeah so he went on and uh ended up in the top 15 in the ufc yeah, at 155 and then he had the three loss back to back against like really good guys like gilbert burns uh, Alexander Hernandez, a fight he should have won. Uh, he was just off. And then um, Armin Saryukin, oh, which was a, wow. if you watch that fight, it's like one round apiece going into the third, and then he makes a stupid mistake, end up on his back, and then just lost the decision, right? But yeah, yeah. they cut him after that. And it was really, really hard. That was in the Puerto Rico time, actually. Yeah, right? I remember. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Right before Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Um, and so you, he's like trying to find a new organization bellator doesn't want him pfl didn't know him at all like uh well, they, he's not a big name no like, exactly that, but, like but like in canada he's like well known so mm -hmm. sometimes you bet maybe on the fact that they need canadian fighters or yeah. so ended up being able to sign with pfl on because his agent were rory's agent rory's mcdonald, McDonald. yeah exactly mm -hmm. and uh and they kind of managed him something in. they got him got in, him in. Man, 10 fights, undefeated, double champ, double millionaire, pretty much. Oh, yeah, so what a story. Fucking crazy. It's amazing. It's and crazy. You, know, you saw the culmination. I did two times. I yeah. did last year. I was in, because he's a really like close friend of mine. Yeah. So I, I was able to. Do you guys there. love each other? We do. Make love. Would you hold hands in well, a park? Maybe, maybe I would. Okay. <laughs> okay, go on. Close Just, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> close friends. Okay. But uh, yeah, last year it was in New York City. And uh, mm. this year it was in Washington. Washington State or Washington DC? DC, DC yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's crazy? Yeah. So let, this is a guy that that got cut from the UFC. Go go ahead. Goes ahead and wins the belt two times. Wins the million dollars twice. Um, but also Joaquin Buckley's guy. You know. You know the guy that, that got spinning KO'd. Yeah. Remember that? Like his his the KO. Joaquin, the guy on the bad end of that highlight. Yeah, yeah. Went and won a million dollars at PFL. He won the belt. Oh, what? I, yeah. I brought a little something from PFL. Is that uh, fucking oh, sick. reminiscent? All right. This okay, this what is. What do you guys sick. think about this? this I don't is get it. Very safe. You don't get it? I don't get it. There's a story behind it. What's the story? Oh, <laughs> I brought it back from Washington D.C. I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the I joke. I stole it. No, yes. actually. So there's a story behind What's it. What's the story? Um. I so when it. Uh, all you I stole it. <laughs> I'm surprising you, huh? Right yeah, now. I don't know what the hell is this. So, uh, you stupid <laughs> idiot. Thief. You know the story? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I told He's him. He's living there. Okay, fair. I'm living at his house. Okay. So, we're um, sleeping together. Yeah, we were uh, pretty, pretty fucked up, pretty drunk uh, okay. that night when he won the million dollar. And uh, he just had finished the fight, the interview and everything. So we go down because we were like uh, in, the, in the stands. <laughs> and uh, we go down there to try to like, go and see him like to c congratulate yeah. him right and uh we realize he's like at the end of the backstage and the security is there and i'm just like with the other guys we're a bunch we're like eight. Oh fuck we're like let's, no, just, go, leave let's oh. just go in okay. i'm like confident you know i'll call what it does to you yeah, you're like yeah, confident yeah. i'm like let's just go in so we storm in the backstage no one says a thing pfl security is they the worst care. of all time i've oh, never no. seen that get your shit together <laughs> or don't so nah. we, we walk great. in and then uh we stay with him and then he has to get tested right they have use that i think right okay. now so he gets in that little tent or room <laughs> and uh and they're like they start testing him and the guy just say like where's the commissioner and i'm like I'm the commissioner. So, <laughs> so I walk you say, the You tent. walk in with a straight face. You go, yes. I'm the commissioner. <laughs> so exactly and you just this. walk on in. I They're, walked the... in the tent. You know where like, okay. you're testing him? Okay. Olivia just looks at me like, what the fuck? Uh, his coach is there, like uh, Richard. And uh, and the, the guy's <laughs> on the iPad doing the test. I just walk in. I'm like, I'm the commissioner. <laughs> and then what I... Looks at me. Looks at the iPad. Keeps going. So I stayed there the whole time he was tested. And then uh, he made me review documents. You were like, scro you yeah, were scrolling no. in and I'm like wait <laughs> this I looks good to, to go. me so so what happened so what happened here yeah. so he makes me review documents and I'm like <laughs> 
I'm like like this. I'm so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Slanted, slanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike reviewing, and he's like, "Oh, copy paste his uh, email address. Make sure it's the right one." I don't even know his email address, but <laughs> pretty sure it was the right one. It said his name, you know. So I'm like, "All right, Holy that's good. That's good." He's like, "Sign over here." I'm like, <laughs> "No <laughs> way." Sign. I'm like, "I hope he doesn't get in trouble." But then, uh, and then the guy, would, I don't think it was really important, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, same. Yeah, same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He just popped for steroids because of yeah. being like after. Oh my yeah. god. Wow. Uh, that's so you know, prison for forging a signature. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't know. He was under the influence. Well, I was the commissioner. Man. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm the commissioner. I wish I saw that. That's a government official you're impersonating. Uh, uh, were you wearing the hat? No. So uh, that's uh, before yeah. that. I thought you were wearing the, the construction hat. I'm the commissioner. It's like, yeah, it looks good to so, me. Uh, <laughs> so after that, we kind of like uh, get out of there. And then he has media, right? Uh -huh. uh, so... Uh, He goes to the the thing where he, the journalists are going to ask questions. And I follow him and I have like my beer in my hand. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, one of his training partner, uh, Michael Dufour, he oh, was yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. he had, a, he just stole a case of uh, Bud Light and he was just giving it to everyone. Fuck so yeah. we're drinking and then he, he's answering some question from the journalist and I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I should ask a question. <laughs> So my friend's so like, this is like a press conference. Yeah, now. it is. Oh, and I'm right fuck. behind, like behind the journalist. I'm like, I'm a journalist now. I'm a journalist. <laughs> I was a commissioner. Now I'm the journalist. The jack of all trades. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I had many soon uh, to be a construction many worker. Many beers, yeah. many drinks. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Uh, many rolls that night. Actually. Okay. So I just take my cell phone and I start an Instagram live. <laughs> like so, this, yeah. I have the video, and I'm just like, at some point in between two journalists, I'm like. Oh, uh, Oliver, uh, uh, it's Pierre. Uh, no, I said it's Patrick. You said it, you said it in French. You yeah, said. it was in French. I asked him the question in French, but I went like uh, Patrick Lagacé uh, du Journal du Verdun, which means like I'm Patrick Lagacé from the, Verdun from the journal. journal of Verdun. It, makes, but it's it made nothing. no sense. Okay. It's, like, okay. saying, it's, like, it's like saying the, the journal of fucking of the, of the texas of jamesburg like i'm the okay. journalist of jamesburg okay. like, yeah. it's okay. such a stupid thing to say <laughs> okay and i phrased it wrong too okay on purpose none of them have any fucking idea see olivier just went like oh fuck. yeah he's like he was scared that i would ask stupid questions yeah yeah too stupid but i just what did you it, ask well, kept so it moderately stupid i'm gonna try to make How it short but like yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i it, So he filmed media uh, for PFL. I'm just going back one step, but like uh, he, he was trolling PFL. He brought them to his old apartment where he had no um, furniture. No furniture. And like he won a million dollars. They expect him to like be balling or whatever, but he's the opposite. He doesn't care, but he brought them to the old apartment. Where he the, moved out of. So it's yeah, just like nothing the, in there. It's fucking empty. It's like an empty shell. Embedded kind of okay. things okay. that they were filming. And he was just like sitting like on the on the camping chair saying how... How do he uh, decorate his empty apartment? So he put... Uh, katanas a bit in every room oh my he set God. it up like a. he fucking, had like yeah. no tv just a, a little camping chair and he had like, swords everywhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> like katanas. like the belt was somewhere and he was saying like uh i'm gonna put the second belt there and just <laughs> basically just yeah. Around. Yeah. Yeah. so i asked him if he bought he was gonna buy, buy a couch finally and he was okay. like yeah i'm gonna buy a couch and then i asked him uh what's the best cryptocurrency and he said uh Uh, there was Rolled no second. It. There was no second best. <laughs> That's what he said. So, which is like a, a meme, meme from yeah. from Bitcoin. Look whatever. into it. Uh, uh, yeah, look into, look into it. it. Michael Saylor. How many chairs are you sitting on? Um, are you all in on the chairs? All in on the chairs. All, all right. right. They know. So I don't know. Yeah, too many inside memes. Know. So I uh, I asked him some question. He answered them, and then that was uh, the end of the press conference. And now, how did I get this white hat? Yeah. Um, We're uh, we're about to leave, right? To go eat some food, drink some beers, and we're waiting on the on the bus um, to go and get us at the at the venue, and we're backstage, and like everybody's wearing a hat, and like basically, how can I say this? Like uh, they they're like closing the show, right? Okay, like, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're about working. to wrap up. They're yeah, workers they're now. Up. They're take take destaging, and uh, <laughs> and one of my friends like, yeah, you should you should, we're gonna give you five hundred dollars if you. If you give someone an order and they listen to you, wow! Oh, I'm like, wow. oh, that's a, that that's, that's funny. A good yeah, one. I, wow. I, I should, I should try good. it. So I'm like, I need a white hat. Dude. You need some kind of like a badge of some sort. The yeah. hat is perfect. So my badge is my beer in my hand. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, I gotta find a white hat. So I go to someone, and confidence will bring you a, a long way. That's yep. an yeah. example that night. Yep. You know, I'm just like, 
Hey, where can I get a white hat? This is ridiculous. <laughs> this fucking thing. The girl's like, oh, it's in the back. You'll you'll see a crate. There's some white hat there. I'm like, all right. So I go in the back. I ask another guy that's clearly managing people. I'm like, I need a white hat for work. And he's like, there's one right there, buddy. So I'm like, I go there, get the hat. And then I'm about to come back to uh, to give an order to someone. basically. <laughs> and the guys are all gone. I'm like, uh well, you got to do it still. No. no. Uh, so, so I started running outside and then catch the bus, and I was able to. Uh, uh, wow. Yeah, and I would have had the, the rest of the night. That's yeah. pretty fun. So that's the that's story funny. about I it. I would have tried to be like, hey, I need that light taken down right now. Come on, <laughs> That would have been so fun. Imagine you can film it. Like, that would have like, been so This idiot's yeah. listening to me. <laughs> don't work yeah. here. So, yeah, that's the story of the white hat, and I brought it back because uh, – I need well, yeah. to. I need all of you to sign it, and then I'll put it somewhere That's in it. my apartment. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> all right, I'm taking this off. That's enough. Enough of white hat. Fuck, man. The escapades. Thoughts. Yeah. Um, it was a rough weekend. That's. I think that's why I'm gassing out so much in the in yeah. the rounds this week. You got a one percent recovery. That was this weekend. This, this weekend, weekend, yeah. Wow, dude. Uh, yeah, I slept Sick. like six hours and forty eight hours. We went out like so Jesus. much. It, it was fun. I in my mind, I was like, look. It's probably his last fight because he announced he's his retired. retirement. Yeah, he's retired. Oh, he announced it. Really? Yeah, he yeah. announced it in the in the post fight. How old okay. is he? He's uh, thirty five, I think. Uh, wow, he's thirty five. Yeah, yeah, looks good. Shit. Yeah, I thought he was like just five years old. I maybe he was like thirty at least. No, no, or he's like thir- thirty five, I believe. He's thirty five, wow. and uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like he's in his yeah, prime, yeah, end of his prime. He's, you know, he's, like that's good. End he, out on, end up on top. Best you way know. to finish your career. Yeah, for, like, sure, for sure. And they want to do uh, Bellator versus PFL uh, yeah. f- um, championship. I think if the money's right, maybe he's going to do it. But, Doesn't uh, uh, PFL owns Bellator now? Yeah, they just yeah, bought yeah. them. And now basically Saudi all the champion Arabia. of PFL are going to fight the Bellator champions. Damn. Oh, that's yeah, they're, so that's so pretty cool. cool. It sounds that's like really they're going to cool, do yeah. Yeah, t- like two things. Um, yeah, like Bellator and PFL are still their own like separate entities even though like they're all under pfl but yeah the championships uh, smackdown champions versus raw something that's like so that cool. yeah that's yeah. it is pretty cool that's yeah that's so cool so i yeah. i feel like olivier if the money's right he's gonna do it but we'll see you know yeah, he, i yeah. think he has no stress about whatever yeah, needs vacation sure. man pfl is hard four fights in eight months every but what year. do you what do you get paid per fight before you, the championship they're depends good, on your right? uh it depends on your contract oh yeah so, uh, so you can still you can still make good money yeah he was making good money every fight and on top he made a million so yeah yeah, it's cool. good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. I mean, that's PFL's, how it should be. Fuck, yeah. fuck, man. Ingano went to PFL, right? He's at PFL. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. He must be getting paid well. It was getting more and more like. Guys I think Ingano's gonna fight Deontay Wilder now. Is he in boxing? And, how do you uh, think that's gonna go? Yeah, I think. Dude, I dude, can, can, can no longer. Now. We cannot can box underestimate Ingano. That was yeah. insane. What I would he like. Did. I, I would like wow. to see. Uh, a boxer come to come to MMA. It's we know what's bad. gonna happen. They they never, they we know what's gonna happen. But some of those, some of those guys are so confident. Like, I'm the best in the world. It's like, bro, the thing is, it's you're not even kicked. like they don't know. Yeah. Anything, you're gonna get taken yeah. down. Get taken it's down. It's like anything. it's it's bad. Yeah. They like, don't know how to deal with kicks. Oh, you know, know Jake Paul's gonna fight too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. End of next year, I think. Is he gonna is fight he, though? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know who he's gonna fight, but it's a hundred percent he's gonna fight. And then the PFL owner was saying in. Uh, the fourth quarter of uh, next year. How do you think uh, Jake Paul versus Diaz goes if it's MMA? Dude, I think he could do well. He's yeah, a wrestler. He well, He's a wrestler. Yeah. He has boxing. Did he wrestle or Logan wrestled? Logan was a better wrestler, but I mean, Jake also wrestled, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. And um, But it's like... He's young. He can learn. Dude, he's young. Diaz is old. And, I, and I think he Jake's does. Jake's a better well, athlete. Yeah. I think he does, like... Because people... Yeah, Jake's a good athlete, but... um. Like and Nate, Nate, Nate isn't like a ex- very experienced like kicker or wrestler. Like he, he's got good jiu-jitsu. He's a, he's a boxer and jiu-jitsu. he's a boxer and a jiu-jitsu guy, and that's yeah. I think the best thing. To be for honest, Jake. I would show like, Jake how to just deal with close guard as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah getting yeah. up, Situation, getting out, close guard. Yeah, and like that's it. He, Nate never shoots. He yeah, just almost, yeah, yeah. He counters and kind of yeah. walks you down with boxing, but Jake yeah. can box. So he's know, I think. Yeah. I think Nick would still. I mean, Nate would still win. I think. I think it should win? be. It should be favorite, in my opinion. But I don't well, know how. Like, tight. If it's a five round fight. Nick's. Uh, yeah, Nate's yeah. winning. Nate's yeah, winning. Yeah, I think. yeah, it's. I don't so see durable. Jake finishing Nate. That's a problem. Yeah, and he's so durable and just unlimited. Well, maybe he's old. Maybe he has less of a gas tank now. But although he's got to deal with elbows, you got to deal. It's so different, man. That's he true. Really throw them in like, elbows. Uh, Nate though. Diaz should win that fight. 
but you kind of never know because he, he's at the end of his career. He yeah. had many wars. Jake's a, a younger style. athlete. If he learns yeah. well, if he like it, yeah, age plays a a huge factor. Yeah, he's like, but I, Nate Diaz probably stuck with the UFC, like contract wise. No, I don't think so anymore. Is he no. still in the UFC? I feel he would be. Uh, the, is he done? I don't know. I he, how did he fight boxing? The UFC backed him on that? Yeah, probably. Oh, wow. He probably did. I don't know, actually. Hmm. I, don't, I, don't I don't know, know I thought the state he, of I, his contract. For some reason, I thought he was done. But I could be totally wrong. I don't know. I'm not in the loop. Would you do yeah. uh, MMA, boxing ever? Yeah, yeah, I would. You would? If yeah. the money's right. If the money's right. If the opponent's uh, a cat. Right. Yeah. yeah. I all right, what if not what want are, them to be. If I they want you to fight in Ganu. What oh. is the price, bro? To die? Yeah. You don't think <laughs> you take him? You don't think you take him? Dude, I don't want CTE. My like, guy, one punch. One one KO. He not, he one not, punch will make you gay, not, bro. <laughs> CTE <laughs> will pop you into another gender. But you can also knock him out. Bro, I don't know how to. <laughs> we spoke about I this. I barely know how to punch. But you just shoot. I mean, mix. Dude, he's gonna be so hard to take down. Um, he is gonna be. Nicky so, Rod can't He take him will down? be very hard to take down, dude. dude Nicky. You're Nicky Rod. Let's say, yeah, let's I'll, say you put a price, whatever the money, whatever it is, to fight Francis. Yeah. What would it, what would it be? A billion dollars. Fif well, I would start with fifty I would million. Fight, but uh, I would uh, fight him for a billion dollars. I would fight anyone, anyone in the world. A B. Yeah, yeah. he'd be like, the fight starts. Tap, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, my you, money. I'll, my fight, I'll fight my ass. Off. I don't care. But a billion dollars, you're gonna say no to a fight? No, I agree with you. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, lower, the, lower the price tag. What I, what I this meant up. is like he started at 50 billion. mil. Same thing. Yeah, same thing. Would you do it for 50 mil? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah, sure. okay. There not one million. million. No, not one. Not one million. Uh, I think the lowest. You still, yeah, I think I would. Still. You would do it for a million? Yeah, I would do it. For That's dollars. a shitty pay to fight Francis. Yeah, you idiot. I wouldn't. I wouldn't, bro. I wouldn't do it. Fight gonna be over quick. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna, he'll beat me pretty quick. Decisively, yeah, it's yeah. a fast million, but a million That's dollars is not that much. I'll know? get knocked out and then what? Wake up a little Dude, bit. Have, have you guys dollars? seen Imagine. the video of a boxing uh, boxing match about to start? There's one guy who's like jacked, lanky, warming up. Clearly an athlete. Another guy who's like oh, stone cold, cold fat, stone Why cold fat. Match starts. Guy walks out. Oh, and everyone's no. like, what? The no, oh, you didn't see, dude. That's, that's, dude that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. The like, it's like they're announcing them. They announce this guy. They announce that guy. Then everyone gets out of the ring. Ding, ding, ding. Guy just walks nonchalant, steps over the ropes, walks out. Everyone's he like, gets, he gets his fuck? check though. He got. I think he got paid. For sure. The yes, dude. Yeah, dude. Yes, it's a loss. It's a loss. That's so yeah, so it's just starts, he's like throwing the towel. So this yeah, happened um, actually like out. like two weeks ago with. So there's ambush Muay Thai in, in Austin, and there's also a San Antonio location. This guy down there had his pro debut for Muay Thai. Got fucking ready, shredded, ready to fight. Uh, f they're they're now about to start the fight, and then, ding ding ding, the fight goes. The ambush guy throws literally like two punches, and then the guy starts backing up. Like he got two punches that didn't really even hit, but like, you know, he they were scared. He was scared. He was scared. Yeah. He was like, and then he goes oh like this. He goes like this, and then waves off. What? And then the fight fight was over, and then <laughs> I he, have diarrhea. He, yeah, exactly. Maybe he had Bro, to go. And I they, this time. They didn't pay this. the guy. They didn't like. They were like, "Yeah, your fight purse is getting taken away." Really? Yeah. 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 Well, there, yeah there was no commission. Not, like, well, because he didn't fucking fight. There was no commission. <laughs> he gave it his got, best. Apparently, he didn't get he didn't get paid. The, the fight purse went to the ambush guy. Also, bro, what sucks is that like the ambush guy had like like the whole crowd was basically for him. Like he sold over like 10k worth of tickets or whatever yeah. to see him. And then the fight was like 15 seconds, and nothing really even happened because yeah. the guy quit. Wow, that sucks. sucks. Yeah, for that sure. sucks. Especially like you're getting ready for. I wouldn't eight mind to 12 if that weeks. happened with me on the right. Hand. I'd be thrilled. I just go I, in there. I think like the guy just goes like this, and I win. <laughs> Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> hit him with, so, hit so, him with fear. What? Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, fear. You want to how powerful even start, you are. I would yeah. love that. Guys, guys aren't scared of me. I have to fucking fight. Sometimes I lose. It's shit. It's terrible. <laughs> It'd be great. They just cower over. And I mean, like when you think about, like, especially for he's probably an upcoming fighter, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's like you just keep you, going you, up. Yeah. <laughs> up from there. Yeah, but you yeah. want like experience in the ring. You prepared yourself. Your friends are there, and then that's experience happened. that not many people have. <laughs> that is true. That is, <laughs> no. that is true. Who yeah. experiences that? Yeah, once God, in a lifetime. Damn it! I had a jiu-jitsu match where I knee cut a guy. And um, he tapped out right after Did that. you knee him right in the face? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, really? Fuck. Yeah. What? 
<laughs> the, the, so the population D cut right at the walls. Well, one of my oh. one, of, one of my students from uh, B team New Jersey. Uh, there's like a little MMA group, and then they'll train MMA at this other um, gym nearby. Traders for MMA. It's okay. I fucking see this text at like 2 a.m. or something in like the MMA chat. The guy, like one of the B team guys, went to shoot. And the other, his training partner or whatever, didn't have knee pads on, and that guy threw a knee. Oh my god! Yep. Oh my god! Fucking broke his face. He has to get Orbital? surgery. Wow. Uh, I guess so. There's Probably, three different yeah. bones that are broken in his face. He has to get a metal oh. plate. Oh yeah. Well, I was now like, he'll be even stronger. 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 I was like, I was like, why are you Dude, guys gonna do this with? Brutal. I hope that guy never brutal. runs into Magneto. <laughs> 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 He's gonna be in trouble. Oh, Sorry, go on with your serious story. Uh, dude, that sucks. I <laughs> literally never want that to happen to me ever. Uh, it could happen in a fight. I hope it doesn't. Yes, I stop hope it doing doesn't. MMA. I, I, if you, you don't, know, I hope it doesn't. The, the, yeah. You ever see like um, I think the Cyborg got his yeah. got his fucking oh yeah. oh yeah. I uh, remember MVP, that. MVP MVP yeah. oh, oh my knee. god, he timed it so. That's so a scary, terrifying. Dude, imagine like you're. The way Your he reacted to it, bro, it. that's a tough fucking guy. The way he reacted to that knee, like he just like, my, imagine the pain of that. Like, or do you think it's so pressure. much that it's like, you don't feel anything? No, he not, looked like he no, felt no, he he was like, that. He was oh my like, God. Bro, he like rolled back. He's like, oh my God. Like, I looked like he was going to die. Yeah. Like, yeah. Imagine the shit. pressure in your head. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but, but headache, did you ever bro? see the yeah. headache must be really brutal oh. the, the day after. Did you ever see? Oh, fuck yeah. Dude, imagine. must be crazy. <laughs> did you ever see that there's like a comparison between, so you know, like the leg breaks from calf kicks? What, there's it's like, like a woman giving birth or something? Well, like there's like Chris Wyden and there's like Silva or whoever whoever gets like their leg break broken and they're like, ah, they're screaming, they're Owie. crying, oh, yeah, whatever. And then, then it's like what? Conor McGregor does his, and he's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's, that's so funny. When they, oh. Everyone's like, ah. Yeah, he cried. And I was like, see, <laughs> your wife's in me the ends. <laughs> <laughs> this is not over. I'll meet you in the parking lot. <laughs> like, wow. You're going to get job. fucked up real bad in the parking lot, my friend. <laughs> he would have killed you, bro. Yeah, but like, like spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yeah, they took what him are you going to do in the stretcher after? And he was like screaming stuff at people. Yeah. He was just like angry. Bro, that's... <laughs> He reacted to that adrenaline in a completely different way than uh, Weidman and Silva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were fuck. crying. They were like, "Yeah, no, so I, would, I would cry." <laughs> no, I'd be like, "Yeah, why send me the ends?" <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh man! Imagine Shit, your leg snaps true. and it's just like dangling, just dangling. Ah, the, the, just the, the vision of that it. might happen to you one day. Are you prepared for that? It won't happen to me. Do you condition your shins? I do condition my shins, but like with conditioner. So, there, there is Stupid. there is a conspiracy behind that. Huh? That um the Illuminati's behind this. P no. PEDs. PEDs, yeah, can leach oh. calcium from the bones or something, making them more brittle. Because it's like you never really see that happen like that often. It's like I don't know. There's really you don't see. I th I feel well, like no, no, like, no, like it's nowadays. It's now, rare. Yeah, really? only nowadays do you really see it. It's like apparently like there's some PEDs that. Can like yeah, leach calcium from your bones or something. Is that what the PEDs do? Like, is that is would, that what makes like, you stronger? I feel like PEDs <laughs> would make your bones stronger. Um, Osteoblast. Well, some, I don't know. Some can, I guess, make them more dense. But mm. there's like one type of PED that like apparently is popular that can fucking leach calcium from your bones and make them more brittle. Interesting. So drink Silva no. was uh, on PEDs. I don't know. I think so? He got caught? No. Did he? Did he? I don't know. I'm pretty did sure he did. He did get know. caught. He doesn't have a PED physique. No, but, like it, but, but I'm pretty sure he got old. caught at some point. I Unless I mean, I, I don't know. I don't remember. I do not recall. <laughs> I do not recall. Fuck. I don't know, but yeah, what, that's Weidman too? Crazy. Weidman never... Uh, he's just praised Jesus a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. I'm seeing know. a lot of eyebrow raising. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. After, I don't know. Confirmation. After, I feel after Uzada came in, Weinman was never the same. I see. That's my opinion. Uh, apparently, yeah, also, yeah. Before that, like before, there was a certain era, era before, like Usada where like it was just known everyone was on it. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it was just like a known thing. Like Chael, super Chael Sonnen's super open about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let you get close. I can't let you get close. <laughs> you know who really fell off? Um, the guy Johnny Hendricks. Johnny Hendricks. Oh yeah. my god. After yeah. He, he had a while. steep rise. That was a yeah. Go, go he on. was on all the PDs. Like I don't know if you guys remember. Like 
when he fought GSP, GSP. and it was a controver- contro- oh, controversial. controversial. Yeah, yeah. Say it controversial. Again? controversial. 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 Yeah, okay. Controversial. Ah. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I can just sound what you're stupid. saying. Exactly. No. So, <laughs> yeah, you just sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> it's only your second language. So, yeah. So, uh, like in the fifth round with George, and it was a tough fight. Like what he was like, round, like, like chanting and like light on his feet. It's like, oh. And his yeah. fights with Robbie Lawler after, he was like, non-stop action uh, and then Yuzada came in EPOs. and he just like fell it was, that was one of the more most fat. drastic yeah. changes yeah, yeah, yeah he yeah. got fat and he, go, he went to uh, Neiman fucked him up you remember who? that Neiman Neiman, Neiman, Neiman Gracie? Gracie oh really, really? Yeah, yeah. In, in Bellator Bellator oh Bellator. wasn't that like his last fight or something it has to be because oh, no. I mean, he's, been, he's been in forever but he fucked big him up big rig I mean Johnny Hendricks was an amazing wrestler yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was really like he did really well but like as soon as Yuzada came in GSP took him down. Yeah, two times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, really. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, and he took he took George down too. I I think. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, you sat him, man. Who do you guys think the greatest of all time is? Do you think it's John Jones? Yeah. No, I think so. No, no. you no, think no, it's GSP? I don't. I don't agree with. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> well, greatest for PFL for sure, but um, the PFL goat. No, I don't think. Who is the goat? I don't, I don't think, think John Jones. John Jones. The reason why is like um, the car. He's a cheater. He ran over. Him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he well, hits like well, a Ford Explorer. Some, John some, Jones hits with the, Ford. I, Ford I think. Yeah, yeah. He, he has some uh, kind of, stint on his on his record from uh, like the twelve the to six P- elbow. Pico Grams. No, that, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Mark Hamill the, fucked the him up. Pico Graham. He placed his head. <laughs> <in> yeah. The <laughs> yeah. Mark Hamill uh, fucked him up, bro. God. But like. It's arguable for sure, but I think there's certain like he was definitely on juice. Like so, who bro. do you think is the greatest of all time? I think there's a discussion to have about it. I, I like obviously I'm, I'm biased. Like like GSP, GSP. Is, I think is GSP. up there. Mighty Mouse uh, because GSP Mouse. every match or fight he lost, he won. He won it back. Yeah, won it back. Uh, with the championship. Uh, the yeah. at the time the fighters he was fighting were really really like top. Uh, but then, like, you could argue, like, uh, Khabib, like, undefeated, whole career. Like, yeah. his last few fights were really, really tough, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like in terms of opponents. How do you, yeah, Khabib, that's, like, tough. Like, who's, I just think that who has a better, like. I feel like George, you know, the thing with George is, like, he came in and, like, kind of changed the sport. Like, he was the most complete athlete. Yeah, striker, yeah. grappler. Yeah, he was doing everything. Shoot yeah, boxer, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And he had great opponents. Yeah, really yeah, that's the other thing guys, too. Yeah. Of different styles, like wrestlers, he would out wrestle them. Like like guys like Josh Koscheck, who are D one wrestler, like high level. You would like Dude, John Jones beat DC. That's Olympic true. Level that's wrestler. that's pretty impressive. But like John Jones up there. But if you look at his last few fights, not the um, the last one, but like uh, what Ray, Reese, Dom or, Reyes, and, uh, uh, Gustafsson, right? Gustafsson. He had some. Argue, wars. arguable, arguable like, wars that were very close. Yeah, they were yeah. close. They were close. Yeah. So I don't know. It's hard to say. He's, yeah. he's obviously been on top his whole career. So, yes. what do you think? It's hard for me to not say John Jones. Yeah. Like, don't that, say it. Don't, don't say it. Nah, I, 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 try, I'm trying hard. not to, but I can't. Uh, yeah. Like I think, um, bro, three year layoff comes back, still wins the belt. I mean, GSP did did go and uh, yeah, double yeah, champ. He, he did that too. But um, he beat. I, I mean, it's hard it's between those two. I think. Yeah. I, I think um, like one of my favorite fighters is you know gonna be like Khabib for sure because he did it yeah, perfectly. It's crazy. But it's like, he's still is he a true complete fighter? I don't know. He's mainly like a, a wrestle fucker. He dropped, Connor. He dropped Connor. Man, his boxing was like was un- unorthodox, but he hit really hard. Like a Let truck. Me show you and uh, yeah, he had no fights where he was ever in trouble really. Uh, he he got hit by like uh, Gaethje, Gaethje. Wait wait wait. There was one did, guy did, who yeah. who rocked him bad. Uh, early on in his career. Right? Early in his yeah, career. Yeah yeah yeah. Black guy. What's his name? Oh yeah, he took him down like Tr- 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 Trujillo or something. Trujillo like Trujillo. Yeah. 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 Was that the guy? Else. No maybe no Trujillo was, oh, was a uh, crazy grappling Mike, uh, What's his name? Michael Johnson. Yeah. Or, is that I Michael Johnson? 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 Really? Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. He had a good one too, right? He got one. One sequence and Khabib was in trouble, but yeah, that's yeah. like just goes to show how rare it is to see uh, in trouble. Like you, one which incident's is, like that, and that's like a known thing. Like, which is crazy, it's crazy too, because it's like MMA is such a crazy game. And how long At he's been time, in it? Yeah, that's like such 
a yeah. vast opportunity to get caught, slip up, and he stays strong. Nicky Rod, who's the goat? All right, here, look at this. Look Besides at this. you. This this is so you think this is Khabib striking. I want you guys to watch. I'm gonna send it to you. Well, the noise. <laughs> <laughs> also, these are early fights in his if career. You, like, any, like, just look at it. All right. These are these are his first <laughs> early. That's early. Me. Just look. <laughs> the sound effect. Yeah, that's his that's his first few fights yeah, in the UFC. Yeah, he yeah. thinks the guy's closer. <laughs> like, if he was one inch closer, but he'd like, be fucked I up. I mean, you out. Yeah. It is early early fights, early, but it's like he never had still early great striking. Don't yeah, get me yeah, wrong. that's the thing. If I'm you saying. put that sound effect on <laughs> like on like a neurosurgeon, it'll sound <laughs> like he's doing dumb shit. Like, come on. Boy, I, I, I. The All other right. thing too that you I watch think without the, without for the John movie? Jones yeah, like to, uh, to argue no. against it, if you want, is like I feel like the lighter weight class, like seventy seven or no, just, I, just watch one seventy and one fifty five. I feel like the, the distance it's way more competitive. Uh, I, to, I totally agree that ahead. the heavier the weight class is, the the least, <laughs> yeah, the more the technique kind of gets drained. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, what's like it, the, what's the, the heavyweights. I was saying how the lighter weight class are more competitive. So a guy oh, like uh, George yeah. or Khabib, they went through like championships and beating everyone in their ro roster that's impressive like heavyweights it's almost like you you can't yeah. hold the belt i really mean long. yeah look like they don't know what they're doing you know <laughs> it's yeah. like, honestly i the think the 66 kg guys are really like a top of the tier, i think you know? 135 and then 145 i think are the best in my my opinion the best I feel uh, it's like 155 is the craziest. Crazy. 155 is, yeah, is in the my best. opinion, 155, 145 are the craziest division in the UFC. 135 deep, bro. It's They're, fucking crazy. Yeah, bro, one, 155 down is my most favorite like to title watch. fights to watch. Me yeah. too. Dude, yeah. You know, Aljamain Sterling was literally, before he fought Sean O'Malley, was in talks of being the greatest bantamweight in UFC history. Really? That's crazy. Yeah. Who he was had, before he his four, time? Four, uh, four title Cruz? defenses. Uh, Dom Dominic Cruz was like four is to be one the, of the best. That's the most that's title defenses. Yeah, that's impressive. Wow, that's such did. a small number. He defended it like, four times. I feel like Usman was a champ for a while. Usman was a champ too, bro. I thought Usman was gonna be the champ forever. Ever. I thought Israel Adesanya was gonna be the champ forever until he retired. He retired. Bro. Yeah. Well, what? He, no, kinda, well, he, he says, said he's going. He says he bit. wants to come back in like 2027 or something. Bro, I think you made your 2027. Money, bro, he should get. Bro. He should get out. But I wish he went out with a win. Like I wish. Uh, yeah, I. Yeah, I'm a. Can't believe Sean Strickland. Fucking Sean dude, Strickland. What the was, hell just that was happened? Such a great show of like boxing and like just. No one, no one expected that. No, you think you Izzy want? was flat or Sean was just perfect? I think Sean was just perfect. His well, defense was so good. So just Did swatting it like, away. Uh, like, so Israel apparently, um, when he was cutting weight, this isn't like public knowledge, but it like apparently it's about to be. Yeah, when he when he was cutting weight, um, and he got out the tub, he uh, he had fainted and or something and dropped and hit his head on the tub. So like there's like he might have had a concussion like he couldn't say anything because that it's definitely like, affects because it's like if he has a concussion he's not gonna be course. able to fight so it's just like yeah. you know, what are you gonna say you're gonna say nothing and deal with it yeah wow so like yeah, and like if you do watch him, also who's doing his weight cut why is that ha why is this happening well, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, not, he's not wearing that hat when he's doing a weight yeah, cut man. Fuck. Just, like just everybody should be wearing this but he should yeah he should be like you 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 cut should have weight. someone like picking you up literally yeah. if you like, I don't know I don't, I don't know. know if he fainted or he slipped or something yeah, like yeah. something like, you're, you're right like anything could but, happen in that sense yeah, especially when you get out of the tub if dude, you've done a wake up you're feeling like you, fucking shit dude. oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you like, go lightheaded no, quick yeah, it's crazy yeah, yeah, exactly yeah. sitting down to standing up you have to be like all right give me a second when you're that depleted of water yeah you're yeah you're fucked up you ever experimented that what Getting out of a tub after you never, water. You ever, you ever, you never had to do like tough cut, weight right? cuts or not really? I never had to cut. Oh, okay. In high school, I, I had to cut quite a bit of weight. Um, f maybe from like 185 that to, one, so to 160. Amazing, not having to cut. That'd be great. Maybe from like 180 to uh 85 to 160. Um, That's a but like I'm I'm cut. I'm yeah. big, so it's not. I don't think it's as bad as yeah. like the lighter. Like the lighter guys. How'd weight? you do it? Um, sauna. So I just did no no food for uh. Two Pretty days, much no no years. food for like two days and like uh, you know resting practice and then two additional workouts afterwards. Damn. Okay, so you never uh, you, have you cut water like in a sauna like a, or tub or something? yeah yeah for sure. But I've never like got to the brink of death. You know what I mean? Like I could what, the most I you could, did was like I ten could, pounds. Something? Yeah, I could do ten pounds in a session. You know what I mean? Like it's uh, yeah. it's not it's not too bad. I could do 20, just doing the, wait, yeah. the I could do 20, 25 pounds pretty easily. What the fuck? Dude, just doing 145 before the last fight, I, it was super easy. But like sitting down to standing up, I have to be like, all right, give me, 
give me like two yeah. seconds because yeah. like i'll see like tunnel vision for a second then i'm back to normal like yeah. okay now yeah I'm if i just like if i just stood up and started walking I'd you, pass you need someone yeah. with you yeah, when, yeah whenever yeah. you do it for like, sure yeah for sure competing is so much more fun when you still have to cut weight oh. hey that's fucking amazing that's, that's amazing. Amazing. they, yeah. they wanted yeah. me to fight i got offered to fight like um so this is like two weeks ago maybe or a week and a half ago they offered me a fight for this weekend and yeah. the only reason I didn't do it is because I wouldn't like I can't fucking cut the weight for the fight. Really, yeah, it's like sure. it's. I was like, wait, fuck. what? I want you make one forty five. Yeah, yeah. Day before weigh in. Day before weigh in. And you're yeah. what now? Like one. I was like one sixty six. I got. I'm one sixty three now. I got. I'm one sixty three now. One sixty two. Wow. But you I got. Fat I got fat. Bitch. <laughs> well, I was fucking. You're just looking like yeah. Now I was I see eating it. a bunch. Then fucking the Thanksgiving. We had Friendsgiving and Thanksgiving. Yes, Damn, yes, fucking, I was a eating a food, shit yeah. ton. And um, I'm not pooping a lot. Yeah, it's different from heavyweights. Like I'm, I'm two, I'm 230 pounds, but <laughs> I can make, I can make 205 in a day and a half. Yeah, totally the ratio yeah. of your weight. Yeah, yeah it's percentage. Like, yeah, percentage. Yeah, yeah. It's all numbers. Yeah. <laughs> it's a numbers game. <laughs> it's a numbers game. Send me the documents. Man, all right. Uh, D- DC used to make 205. Like yeah, with a little, a little yeah. help. He's always been. Oh, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, but he is the towel. Yeah, that's a good trick. You ever see that? Yeah, yeah, that was, that <laughs> so was a great trick. Yeah, <laughs> Yo, did you ever see the, uh, I think it was um, Max Holloway. He, he was like super close to, to, um, to fucking, to, to the weight or whatever. So, you know, they got, na- he had to get naked. They put the towel around him and like they raised the towel, like covered yeah, yeah, his head. Yeah. And he was just like, wow, thanks. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. blown out on national television. <laughs> He's like, guys, what the fuck? Yeah, like, thanks, guys. They cover his face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that dick is ugly. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. The towel guy's like, oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Don't know what's going on there. Uh, fucking. So what, what's uh what what else is going on, guys? We have um Owen Jones and Nick Matea or oh, Mataya. Yeah. Mataya. I think it might be Matea. We will we never know. Mataya. I don't Just ask him. Is nah. it two days? <laughs> it's too late. Thursday, two days. Yeah, it's two Thursday. days. So um, you guys gonna all be there? Yeah, I'll go. We got a corner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna find a way to miss it. I still got it. <laughs> <This fucking guy. laughs> no, we're we, of course we we're going. We shoot a podcast the no, other I'm day. Down, I'm down to And then you we know have this to is do shit. Well, this is on. a business, right? This is a business. Uh, you Here know, we we're go. all business partners. And then oh, yeah. we agree to do this podcast. And he's like, "Nah, I can't make it. I got to go grocery shopping." We're training I'm in the like, morning. You're a then training at twelve. How much? Bum. Look, yeah, that's grocery a, shopping. That's a bad excuse. This is a business. That's a bad excuse. We had some stuff to do. Look. Long <laughs> Pio does not even agree. He's like, "Wow, fine, it's okay. I'm not gonna." We'll oh, was talk that about when, this later. when we went? <laughs> yes, when we went. Oh no, no, we had to go. Yeah. <laughs> how, many, how much shit did we need? Yeah. No, sorry, I didn't know it. That's like, what, yeah, yeah, no, 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 it was no, very no, important yeah. business. You were yeah. I'm like, lots of stuff. Wait, <laughs> <okay. laughs> we'll speak about this in the car. <laughs> <laughs> we spoke about this. You're never on my side. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing happened in the kitchen this morning. <laughs> Not for my friends. You didn't give me teeth. Oh, you're my, my fucking side. Yeah. Yeah, I, you never have my you never have my back, bro. Damn, I threw you under the bus. <laughs> well, I got run over by a fucking eighteen wheeler. <laughs> I'm sorry. I brought you all here. Right, all right, here, guys. How much money would it take to allow someone to hit you with their car, like on twenty miles an hour? <laughs> how, how many? Like how fast? Twenty what, miles. What kind of car? Oh, twenty miles. Twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> How much, how much dollar money? Dollar. Like, that's a good ratio. One dollar per mile. <laughs> like uh, hundred miles an hour, hundred bucks. Well, deal. It's a good deal. <laughs> what what would it take? What this. would it take? Like make to me start an doing like jackass make me stuff. An offer I can't refuse. If it was like a small like uh, Honda Accord or something where you could like front front flip over, you, you know? think you could do it? Yeah, you yeah. ever see Twenty One Jump Street where like they're fucking rolling over the <laughs> rolling over the thing and then? No. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I, don't, I but, mean I've um, seen it, but I don't remember. All right, so Honda Accord, how much? Uh, how much it's gonna cost you? I mean, my body is my work. I'm not. My buddy uh, is my millions, okay. of, millions of dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what is the number? <sighs> to hit, hit me with a uh, Honda Accord going 20 miles an hour? 20 miles an hour. Bro, I mean, a million it. dollars. 20, 20, 20 mil. Yeah, I, don't know. I roll off. Okay. I don't think what, about, two what about 800K? I can, I, I can wear whatever I want, right? Yeah. All right. Wow. Uh, wow. I saw this. You're going to have a bump. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Gonna wear, He's wearing, wearing a bubble. car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a car. I'm in another car. He puts his seatbelt on top. I'm wearing it. <laughs> I'm in a truck. Yeah. Can I wear an 18-wheeler? <laughs> I'm wearing a building. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so, but that's a good question. We're negotiating right now. Huh? You have 800K? Wear, uh, you gotta wear a t-shirt We start a GoFundMe to see who wants to see you get hit with a car. <laughs> Some eccentric billionaire is gonna be like, I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. <laughs> 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 Wait, yo, do you remember what we were talking about? <laughs> um, any, we were, the, the question was, are there's like a billionaire or whatever that's going to give you any type of vehicle that you want, like any any type of uh, you know car or whatever. And then uh, <laughs> the Rod was like, I'll take a private jet. And then he's like, imagine driving the private jet. <laughs> you can't fly. It's just You're driving. only allowed to drive it. <laughs> It's like in the morning, you're all you driving. Start your private it's so expensive to get to BT. <laughs> He's driving. It's like it. forty thousand dollars to oh, drive this He's fucking driving it to BT. You're peeling like buildings yeah. off. You're just warming fucking... it up, and the fucking house is shaking. That's yeah, awesome. <laughs> destroy your Bro, house. Yeah, yeah, guys, if you are so right now, yeah, actually, it's... you have the option, and costs don't matter. Would you rather um, have a helicopter or a jet? A jet, a jet, a ten jet. times. Yeah, uh, yeah a helicopter is more dangerous, isn't it? I believe there's more. There's probably more there's helicopter more, more crashes. Jets, I assume. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, All right. Also, check this. Seat, check this out. Fucking where? Like you go yeah, overseas. Like, like you could go. You yeah, know? you can go to Japan yeah. if you want. But helicopters, you don't have to worry about traffic every day, day to day. I disagree. Your where's your helicopter pad going to be at B Team? Yeah, yeah. How are you gonna land it? Oh, Where's the on the roof? Probably need a permit. You're gonna something. destroy. You fucking collapse through the roof. You're like, <laughs> the, well, the BT roof is so, not strong. Uh, someone's jet. gotta clean this. Up. I'm not even yeah. thinking about it. A jet right away. Jet. I can go wherever yeah. I want. In the Hands world. down. Okay. And plus, I don't know if you ever flew in a jet. I never. I had. did a few times because uh, <sighs> the Antigua trip. Yeah, I with, remember. Uh, I missed it. Fuck. Yeah, we got we got flown in a jet uh, from and, uh, Vegas. Bro, uh, the security and everything is so much. You everything faster. Just, yeah, you just fuck. you breeze it's the best. through. And That's then, you get to spit on people as is, you walk by them. Yeah, you're like <laughs> peasants. Yeah, <laughs> plebs, <laughs> plebians, <laughs> plebians. Uh, All right, let's say let's say yeah, a billionaire, jet. right? Is like, dude, like I want to I want to bang your girl. How much money to? No, 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 no. Money's no money. Zero dollars. Money's not that far. Well, wait, 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 wait. Billion? Is this a real? Like someone asked. No, I would never. But like, what is someone? So <laughs> you're getting like paid. To, yeah, yeah. You're, you're getting paid to let them. Can you bang dump your her chick. right after? You can do whatever you want. Oh, it's your oh, chick. Well. That's your real chick. <laughs> your wife. Talk about it. It's your wife, right? If I have your wife. how much? How much money? They're like ten million. Can't they just fuck no. me instead? No. No. <laughs> Like, <laughs> better option. <laughs> Why do they have to degrade me? You know, like come on. <laughs> you would like it too. <laughs> no. How much money? For ten million, I wouldn't. Ten, <laughs> nah. No. Nah, 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 there's nah, no nah, amount of care. money. Ah, yeah, no nah, amount of care. money. But maybe a billion. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, no. But if you're offering. No. No, I don't think I don't think it matters that much. I think fucking. You? Yeah, no money. It doesn't matter. No. Zero yeah. for free. If it's your wife and like you're gonna have kids with her and all, like nah you can't yeah no yeah I don't if think I don't think it matters. I think like m I mean money isn't better than happiness there's tons of rich people that are fucking miserable hate their life yeah for sure that's yeah. why I choose not to be rich <laughs> oh yeah. I like yeah. happiness instead I, I'd rather be happy yeah. no but you can be happy and, and rich, rich but you gotta build your life you gotta build it up so it's Okay, here. You can have what, even if, if you're, you're if, if you found your wife had cheated on you Go one on. time, Go on. but it was for a billion dollars. Gone. Out. That's do you just, keep the, the same money? Thing. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's what's the same deal? You know what I would actually do? I would. Uh, but she was like, for listen. Divorce? She was like, listen, listen. All for divorce. I was yeah. this much money. Boom. Or There's kill that. her, get it all. <laughs> oh my god! What the kill hell? Me. No, that would be no. no never mind. No, you can't yeah, do that. divorce I would, half. No, yeah, I would. Yeah, I would no, file yeah. for divorce and get half. Yeah, divorce. Yeah, yeah, half. yeah, it's fucked. That's the easy. A billion dollars. No. Boom. <laughs> yeah, you. I, I'd rather have five hundred million and not be a cuck than a billion. And yeah, be a cuck. I don't think. You know uh, I mean? There, you know, Heisem. So like, Heisem had a good point about like, um, like your girl's cheating on you. It's like. If your girl cheats on you and then you take her back, it's like, think about she fucked this guy. It slips out. She's like, no, no, no. Put it back in. And it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you start bro, thinking about these things, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, like, yeah. They're used after that. If and It's look, a used if, It's a used fucking flesh, we were, uh, fleshlight yeah, with, yeah, yeah. with emotions and skin. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about.
taking responsibility, that's another thing too. If that happens, it's probably your fault and you gotta just dump her. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, wow. Uh, in my opinion. Fuck. Unless in she's my, a, or it's her fault. So, some chicks are just addicted to dick. Yeah, but you should Can't know that enough. before getting with her. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's you should, true. You, you don't see the signs? That, yeah. You, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If that happens, uh, you're part faulty yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, some chicks could just can't get enough. <clears throat> well, some say it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, let's think of another question. Hit by a car for money, <laughs> girl fuck for money. What else? What else for money? Can money really just... How much are you willing to, to do, you know? The thing is, it has to be an amount of money where... It solves my problems that solves arise from this. Every single problem for yeah. generations. Oh, okay. you, guys hold asked, on, hold you guys asked me the other day uh, how much to just stop training uh, jujitsu. Oh, yeah. yeah, and I don't. And uh, initially, I was like, ah, like I do it for a couple million or something like that. But honestly, uh, what I don't else? Think, am I I don't think do dollars. I would. I would do boxing. I don't think. No, I think. Because I love get martial that, arts, but I can do a different martial arts. That's cool. But I think the second I get that <laughs> money cool, and I, I see all my friends, my life is built around this. <clears throat> yeah. So all of my yeah. associates, all my friends are training. And every day I will look at my bank account and be like, oh, that's great. And then I go to training and can't train. I can't do it. I would fucking, that's the only thing I would want to do in this in this world. You can take yeah. the jets. You can go <clears throat> go wherever you want. But yeah. I would and, only want to train. Yeah, someone asked okay, me the same question. That. They were like, like. Would you stop training if you like? I'd give you ten million right now. I'm like, nah, no chance. Like, I I really like training too. Much. I, I consider I it. I I would think real hard. Ten million dollars. I'm box. I'm a boxer. I'm a Muay Thai guy. Yeah, I, I know what you mean. At least you can. Maybe you know? I would learn another skill. I, I think I would, I would really. Be, I, love, I might fucking I take up spike so ball much. championships now. No, I don't know. There's definitely no, other no. ways to have fun and and be happy. But fuck, man, I would. Jiu Jitsu is my a whole lot of my whole trip. life. I would just be thinking about. There is other shit I could do. I could go ride dirt bikes. Dirt bikes. I could fucking. Bro, you could be a Formula One fucking racer. Oh, or whatever. Fuck, that dude, would like, be cool. Like the thing is, is yeah. you could I'm, find I'm your own Formula One. I think. Dude, yeah. I, yeah. The thing is, you like. Yeah. I think all of us. We are all competitors. What's fun is the actual competition. We just obviously fell in love with jujitsu, so now we want to compete in that. Let's race cars. But like, I'm dude, down. we race fucking cars. That. Dude, no I, injuries. Either no. you die, oh, or you die. Oh. <laughs> you get fucked up, bro. If you fucking, yeah, you get fucked yeah, up. But listen, you either burn and die, or you live. Yeah, you uh, are, you can break your neck and be fucking, like, they're, no, they're locked in. They're like, <laughs> bro, we we played spike ball today. That shit was fun. That was fun. It was, yeah, we were you're right. I yeah. was like, yeah, I yeah. like. Competing against other people, I play fucking online poker for for no money. Okay, but what's since the I know price? Other what's people, the price to get you to stop training? Bill, you're not allowed I'll to do, do a billion dollars. You wouldn't do five hundred mil. I'll do five hundred mil. I would, yeah, five hundred mil. I would. I would even change no, up my life. Fifty, a hundred mil. I think I would as do soon it. as we get to fifty, I think that's when I, I'll consider it. Forty-nine million dollars. You're not fucking. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> you're right. right. What about, what what about number? Eight? There's a number in there somewhere. Thirty-five. Thirty-five million dollars. It's not that much difference than fifty. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're raising a good point. Fuck. I would probably develop a big gambling addiction and. Really, you're a gambler. A, a little bit. What yeah. do you play? Uh, crypto. <laughs> crypto. <laughs> I, I, that I, is I play my dip- son's college tuition. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, no, I, no, actually, probably not. But um, yeah, I think anything above fifty mil, I would do it. Under hundred percent, anything over. Uh, I think anything over thirty million dollars, twenty million dollars. Yeah, <laughs> just keep kidding. A uh, yeah. hundred dollars. How much you got in your wallet? Uh, all right, I think <laughs> the actual money. number, like I will not go under ten million dollars. I think ten mil. So ten mil, you never do jujitsu again. I don't think that's too low. I'm. I'd be. I like, think I'll do it. I think I would. Because I still enjoy... You I train Muay the, Thai. You come to practice every Sleep. day. You guys ready for spike ball? In two hours when we're done training. <laughs> I train Muay yeah. Thai every day. No, you're not allowing Muay Thai. I, I no, 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 like no. Oh, you're saying no martial arts? Yeah, no There's martial arts. There's probably no number then. There's what? probably no number yeah. except unless it's $50 million. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> $30 million, dollars, no martial arts, you you would you wouldn't accept Oh, it. bro. 30 mil? Ah. It's fine. I'll no it. martial arts. I'll I feel like your number is fairly low. Send it my way, all right? <laughs> yeah. He's not interested. <laughs> What's your number? You're saying no martial arts at all. There's a lot of other things I can do that I find that I would find fun. Yes, like you, you said. You don't do anything. Grocery I, shopping. Because I built my life around this. You give me that kind of money, I'll build my life around something else. What is it going to be? I don't Marine know. You biology? give me the money, and then I'll You'll find what you like. <laughs> yeah. You got that money, yeah. Gay exactly. porn. We you'll, can race yeah, you have that drugs. kind of money, you'll fit. No. I see if I got that kind of money with that kind of price tag, I wouldn't squander it. I wouldn't 
I, maybe I would. I would try. <laughs> I, I would try I some. Ra- I tried rally car racing. I think that's so rally car racing. Sick. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I, would, I would. That looks crazy. Is that is that yeah. like what's the is that dirt like yeah, dirt, dirt car? Dirt? Yes. Yeah. I really like yeah. that shit, dude. When that I, went, I went, but to, you can never like submit anyone ever. Dude, you could beat people in races. Yeah, but that's not the same as it is. It is. In a, it is asserting dominance. That dude, is true. Dude, you can't sink in a rear naked and just yeah. like ah, oh, that shit. This means too. I like if you ever get combat, after though. that money, if you ever get in a fight, you just gotta concede. You can't. I'll, I'll shoot, shoot them. I'll shoot them. Yeah, you I'll can't. shoot them. They're no, dead. you're not allowed. That's martial no, arts. That's not martial arts. No. <laughs> that's not martial arts. <laughs> it's martial law. <laughs> martial law. Boom. Uh, I think. Um, Are you allowed? To I like, like physical you? combat. Like I yeah. like that. Would you? I like that. Would like that. Would I be allowed to like learn how to shoot guns and do stuff? Yeah, like that? yeah, yeah. That's not martial arts. No. I think um, <laughs> I'd be a competitive uh, dude. I'd be shooter. fucking yeah. bro. Rally car racing. I would try dirt biking. Like yeah, fucking, dirt I wouldn't. Dirt dirt bike. Bike. So I'm gonna get so You got her on the pit bro. Bikes, bro. Yeah, I got her bike yeah. on a little tricycle. I'm not doing the big bikes. That thing in your garage is a death trap. It is, it's cursed. It is fucking so dangerous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah what's other, what, are, what are some other yeah, like yeah. fucking sick ass? I go it, snowboarding but... all the time. I love snowboarding. snowboarding I fucking love snowboarding. I the only reason lot, I, yeah. I stopped I it was like ski. I can't make fucking trips when I'm training. Same thing. Yeah. It's like it, it's like I used to go I, like so much. I used to go every day. Blessing every day. If we if we're not like imprisoned by this, we have to train every day. We'd go experience the whole world. Yeah, you're right. Give me fifth. I mean, yeah, we still get to travel a lot. Yeah, Way but, more yeah, than, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Most, don't yeah. you hate that guilt you get when you travel and you're like, you're experiencing such beauty, but you're like, oh, fuck, uh, they're training a B team. Like team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll still no, train. I don't get that guilt. I don't get that. I used to get it a lot, but because you don't want it bad enough. <laughs> no, I just like, <laughs> it's like, it ruins your trip. So like, might as well yeah, be in yeah. the present moment. I just, you know? that just ruins it for me. <laughs> I'm just no, like, no, I am the same way. Like I pretty much, even wherever I go, I pretty much train. Yeah, me too. But it's not, it doesn't feel the same for me though. Like, yeah, because like, the guys my size usually aren't going to be that It's in your mind. Training. It is It is in the back of my head, but I do like forget about it. Like we were in Europe. I'm like, that's yeah, I think about it, but no, like it at fun, the same time, it, it's still it, fun. It yeah. depends how long. Like if I go for two weeks, I'm like, you're good. Yeah. I'm still training. I'm still getting yeah. better. Like, Especially it won't right change after anything. something. Like if you, Dude, like you get yeah. injured, like we just talked about that. Yeah, yeah. You're not at like tr- actually training, but you can get better. So it's the yeah. same thing when you travel. That's true, yeah, yeah, but it's like it's, it's just the way you it feels see it. different at P team. It's like I feel like oh I'm yeah, for sure, getting better. Plus, when you're in your routine, yeah. you wake up. Eat I like thing, routine. Yeah. I'm also like uh, like I like my routine. Yeah. Like, if I travel, I need to have some type of routine. I hate yeah, when it yeah, constantly yeah. get changed. I feel yeah. like it's, it's out too of crazy. It. To how long? Lot, how yeah. long do you guys think we're we're all gonna be alive at, for? No, no, at, no. at B team. Like you think you think we're here? Austin, Texas. No, no. I just I just mean all together. You guys are gonna eventually branch off and do for me. It's three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> no, but I'm 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 saying, why would we branch off? No, no I'm saying like, what do you have planned? Yeah, we talking about? No, no, I'm saying, I mean, you guys are all gonna be in Austin, Texas, in, for fucking next forty years. What? Why not? Forty years. I mean, I feel I like, love it here. Oh yeah, for well, eventually, I, I feel like you, you guys know, will make gonna, fucking like, other businesses, another B team somewhere. Yeah, another B team, maybe <clears throat> Australia, maybe fucking wherever. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't want to run a gym. I mean, you don't have to, but you do you want to live in Austin, Texas for the rest of your life? I don't, I don't know. I want to be around my friends. You guys gonna leave me? <laughs> oh my god, that's we a, would never. I would never. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. How, for okay, life. How long do you think uh, us, Nikki, Craig's kind of fucking gone? Craig's, Craig's not here. Craig's yeah, yeah. Craig's, Craig's already a nomad. Yeah, yeah. He's on the perpetual tour. But yeah. the, but the main the main guys. You know what I mean? You think ten years, twenty years? At I would least like us. I would like years, us to all stay in the same country. Yeah, you like, know? So like we the, like, yeah. Life, life is is uh, it's better with friends. Yeah. It's better with friends. Yeah, Social, yeah, like it, it's, that's a it's real be thing. Sick like, when like when all of us like are fu- are like filthy rich dead. and we're able to like go on trips to fucking yeah, wherever yeah. for two days just because, and then we come back like it's just like yeah. fucking. It'd be great if someone made a deal where we don't train anymore and we got a bunch of money. And, <laughs> but like, you think uh, we're gonna be do that f- like forty years old still training together? I think so. Yeah, I think you guys. So so then we all have to be still still the same location. You're right. Well, we go around and then meet up and, and train for back. you know a couple months. We're all in the same spot. Like, do you then... want to run your own gym one day? Nah, it's no. Like, it's a little. We too have much. a great. We have a great. I see thing you at... doing it. You don't look good. <laughs> like, you look like, <laughs> like, like you're shit. falling apart. Dude, oh, this is horrible. I feel like we have a great thing at B team. We all we all train. We only teach once or twice a week. It's fucking it's pretty nice. Pretty every nice. every competitor that that goes and starts their own gym, it has to teach yeah. eight classes they are a week. They're bogged like, down. They hate it. 
they hate it. Yeah, it's a it's a full time job. Yeah, uh, even it, they they on hate top it. Of training, but yeah. like if they hate it, it's because it's not the right time in their life to do it. Some yeah, people yeah. do it, I, and I they're like, know. I think they're past fucking, their their you know. You know prime I'd, li- or I'd like to I think my, my, my gym, my, but like I'd like to hire people and a bit of the same. But I like teaching. Yeah, I like I teaching twice a week. But if I did it every day, but the thing is, is because you're you're also young and and a competitor. Like my business partner, he genuinely like. What are you looking at? Is it flickering or something? No, no. Oh, um. He and he really enjoys uh, like teaching, yeah, yeah, yeah. like especially the, the kids program. He was saying that there was a, there was a point in time. How much does he enjoy teaching the kids program? <laughs> <laughs> Too much. What do you mean by that, <laughs> bro? He was telling me when the team split, right? Because he had a choice of 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 uh, going with Gary or you know yeah. going with B team. And then um, he was like super stressed. I was like, honestly, like fuck, it's not worth it. Like, because he, he still has a full time job. Also, he's like, I'm gonna fucking just like quit and stop everything. But he like he thought about like the the kids program. He thought about like all these guys that had just started. He's like, I, I genuinely like love teaching. I love what like what this is. And then um, so then yeah, he decided to stick with B team and stick with me. So it's like there's guys like that that you know genuinely oh, enjoy. Sure. So it's like yeah. you, you know? got to get those guys on your team to help run your gym yeah. if you're still planning on being like you know on if you want to be an active com- if you want to be active an active competitor, competitor yeah. you can't i feel like it's hard to you be can't, the head people instructor. do that people do that what's an yes. example jt uh, torres yeah, yeah. Torres. the second i feel like when he started teaching every day it was like downhill no maybe. he no? no he he was doing he really yeah he won twice, twice while doing that he beat oh, really? gary his yeah. last yeah, he beat yeah gary yeah. twice um, while doing that while essential yeah at essential yeah. so and but now, he did, now he's hiring you know, more people he's hiring yeah, more people like, yeah. and then he lost maybe that's what went wrong <laughs> <laughs> but no but I, I i think like there's there's a few instances where people were running all their classes and the gym and competing hodger gracie was like that too i believe he was running his gym while he was uh um, winning all the world championships so there's instances where i think it can help especially if you have the drive and you love teaching sure. but for and, sure if you yeah. <clears throat> despise or like teaching too much and it's a lot like if you're the only main guy yeah. in your I gym you like guys you guys have, have it, have it good yeah it's exactly like there's a shit ton of owners that are also instructors that just split the the workload the like that's yeah. fucking that's the awesome. best because it's a competitor yeah. gym yeah, you know? yeah but like if i yeah, if I was to start a gym right now, I would probably have to teach a lot. That's why I I'm think not definitely. Doing it I think right now. I think starting like a business in general, or starting a gym with someone or with a team, is just way better. It's the best. It's yeah. like now e- each additional person now the workload gets divided yes. more. Yeah. It's like and you yeah. get less burnt out over time. That's what I while think. While yeah. the gym grows and yeah. you know, open a B team, maybe not. <laughs> uh, TriStar. No, uh, t- no, not TriStar either. I, I would like to have my own indep- independent thing. Yeah, so you don't want to um, get a B team. I don't know. I feel Give like it to you in for Montreal, five dollars right now, <laughs> dude. In Canada, I feel like we in Montreal, got cloud in Canada. I, honestly, we got cloud in Canada. Oh I, yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I went to people uh, love it. I went to yeah. a few different. Uh, lo- yeah, you went in the west, right? Yeah, yeah. I went east and west. I was in in Banff and in uh, and in like Vancouver and stuff. And that's bro. west. Is it west? Yes, yeah, oh, west. I'm in, I'm in uh, uh, Kelowna. Cologne. It's west still. It's like uh, Alberta and uh, that's west. Kelowna yeah. or Cologne. Kelowna. No, no, no. Kelowna is east. Is it no, it's like Cologne? east from Vancouver, but like it's Cologne? west no. in no, Canada. No, no. It's western so. Canada. Isn't it like right above like fucking? Uh, it's like uh, mid York? Midwest. No, 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 that's Quebec. Above New York that's is Montreal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, fucked up. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. That's a nicer part of Canada. Well, what I was favorite. saying is just like uh, yeah, I, I always thought about like I'd like to have my own brand at some point. I like like being maybe original in that way. But for sure, if I was to open a B team, it would work really well. But I I don't want to open a TriStar. I think it's like really a MMA brand. Yeah, for yeah, jiu-jitsu, sure. it, yeah. I don't know, but uh, yeah, no, but we'll see. Wave it's name? like no new wave. New no. wave. No. Not, oh, new wave was yeah, my first choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> actually, I was been talking to John for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> you think they you open think, a gym eventually? I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. It's I think I think they'll years. open one. The thing is, I think they're probably dealing with some fucking um, uh, like permit issues. Probably, probably That's what they, I have, they have money. Well, no, I, I feel well, like well the thing is in, in Austin it's very difficult to actually build but it's like yeah, BTM build, was yeah. already established so there was already permits yeah but there's so there's so many like I uh, feel industrial they, places you just mad up and get your permits yeah. and you're good to go I was about to say like I feel if they wanted really to do it they would have done it I have inside uh, insider knowledge tell yeah. us I think they're get they're getting a spot okay uh, I've, I've been hearing this for 
a year no, plus. No, I think it starts it's in January. Okay, okay. Huh? You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> yeah. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> the Simple news. Mind Podcast. Yeah. yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Okay, heard so Jim, I mean, yeah, I think that what we have is, is a good yeah. option because we're all still comp- competing and, you know, we don't want to be stuck teaching that much. But then again, some guys make it work. I don't think we're... Yeah, what do you guys want to do after uh, the competitive uh, lifestyle? Uh, I'm, the, co- I'm cool with just uh, teach like once or twice a week, train every day. And fuck, I'll grow this jerky company. I got... It's a good I, hustle. I think within a year time, it'll be substantial. Some substantial. We shall see. I don't yeah, know. I, I want to be like a serial entrepreneur. That's like, that is like the what ultimate kind of cereal. Goal. The what? Yeah. The cereal entrepreneur. Like lactose yeah, free shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Just Dude. like multiple, multiple business businesses. It's hard, man. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I feel I think like. you have to get multiple businesses to figure out how to be a businessman. And then one will blow the fuck up. Well, I mean, I think like, I mean, yeah, but I think they, they can all do well. Like, I think like, like the gym, I think the podcast, I think real estate is going to, is going to be one. Like, I feel like you can get multiple uh, streams, streams of, streams of revenue. revenue. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I could fucking make my own jerky as well. You want to compete? Do you I'll see probably, your 50 50 you. round? I'll, I'll probably compete, I'll compete with you. you. Yeah, but once you started trying on like the <laughs> fifth attempt. <laughs> All right, now. Now is the time. You can never compete with my secret sauce. You don't know the secret sauce. That's how secret it is. Dude, study I have it written, written down on the safe. I study the blade. You study the sauce. The blade. It's written down on the safe. Yeah, maybe I want a jerky company. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I gotta go fucking Muay Thai. We don't want you here anyway. I gotta go Muay Thai. I all have right. to Muay Thai. You guys, are gonna guys, keep going? are you you've guys been gonna... what? You guys, are gonna... I don't know if you guys are. It's been an hour twenty. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching Simple Man Podcast. I'm Damien. I'm Nicky Rod. Pierre I'm... Olivier, and I'm Ethan. You guys have been simplified. If you guys watched to the end, leave a microphone emoji. Leave a microphone emoji. All right. Is that a thing? It's a new thing. That's a, a, new, a microphone is microphone is a thing. I've seen it. It's very I yeah. seen Mi- it. Microphone. Um, I seen guys. It. Also, if you guys have any questions that you want us to answer for the next podcast, mm-hmm. make sure you comment on that. Make sure if you like the podcast, you like and subscribe. Make sure that you purchase your specific Simple Man podcast T-shirts to help the podcast continue growing. We, we need to pay off these cameras. <laughs> these cameras. Yeah, these and cameras and gym. And Jim is fucking stealing all of our he's money. Got, he's <laughs> rolling, dude. Jim's gonna be able to afford that thirty million yeah. soon to get us all. Jim training. has been behind the cameras, just on his counting phone money, for counting hours, money. <laughs> yeah. and we just give him money, fanning uh, money help. in our face. Help! Come on. Yeah, uh, he's about to go on vacation. He's what? going on vacation. Where are you going? Where are you going? No, it's work. It's work. Work sure. in Hawaii or something. Where, yeah, where are you working? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, we gotta talk about that on the next podcast. <laughs> this guy. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching someone podcast. Leave the microphone emoji if you watch to the end. You've been See simplified. ya.